Welcome. This is a, a trip that I'm taking, or a walk I'm taking, across North Wales from Basingwork Abbey in Hollywell and finishing at Bardsey Island near Aberdarren and the Slim Peninsula. It's known as the Pilgrim's Way, so it's a trail that is uh, going to take me all the way across North Wales through various terrains, from lowlands to uplands to the kind of foothills of Snowdonia, all the way down Slim Peninsula via a coastal walk um, to the kind of island of Bardsey, uh, which sits right down at the bottom of the Slim Peninsula. As you can see behind me, the starting point is the ancient Basingwork Abbey in Hollywell. This is a, a 12th century abbey, which suffered, like a lot of the abbeys in the UK, uh, at the dissolution of the, the monasteries by Henry VIII and so today as you can see it's it's pretty much just a ruin so it's fallen into decay but it did flourish for over 400 years as a sacred monastic site. So a little bit more background on this. Um, I was actually kind of looking at one of the longer distance paths in Europe something like the Camino de Santiago with the French Way uh, which is kind of one of the big popular pilgrims trails but uh, while I was out uh, one day, um, I came across uh, this little leaflet, which is about the North Wales Pilgrim's Way. And I kind of thought, oh, that's quite interesting. So I did a little bit of research and uh, came across uh, some more details, particularly kind of, there's a nice little postcard that shows the route. But also uh, this guidebook, which is kind of the definitive guidebook for the Pilgrim's Way. Um, and really the only kind of book that you could uh, actually use but it has all of the uh, paths, trails and everything else in it. The Pilgrim's Way is divided up into um, 25 sections uh, although it's actually combined, or a lot of those sections are combined and the walk can be done between kind of 10 and 15 days depending on your kind of uh, walking style and how fit you are essentially. Uh, the normal is about 12-13 days and then you've got to allow a day for a, a trip across to Bardsey Island. Uh, I'm planning to actually do this walk over a series of weekends so it should actually take me somewhere between two and three months to complete depending on how many days each weekend I can actually walk. Um, one of the nice things about uh, doing it that way is I can actually go really really light so uh, that's, that's kind of my plan. So in terms of walking gear, I'm actually going to be using some lightweight walking shoes. Um, these are some Merrill Moabs, which they're lightweight Gore-Tex, so they're really nice. And I've used these before, so uh, that's what I'll be taking this trip. Uh, for socks, I'll be using Thousand Mile. Now these are actually running socks, but they're actually dual layer socks. So they're actually two socks in one, essentially and they really help with any kind of rubbing hot spots uh, and I find them really useful so that's what I'm going to be wearing. Um, some Berghaus hiking trousers, now these are the stretch version so they stretch a lot more than normal ones um, and I find them really really comfortable for walking, very good for climbing styles. Coat, uh, as a waterproof coat I've got uh, a DLX which is uh, a kind of standard waterproof coat. It's not new, um, I've had it for quite a while but I really find it quite comfortable so I'll be using that as my uh, main waterproof coat. Bag. So in terms of bags I'll be uh, taking this Osprey. Now this is an 11 litre sack because I'm only travelling in day trips I can uh, travel quite light in terms of bag um, and this will fit in pretty much everything I'm going to carry in terms of waterproofs uh, clothing, that kind of stuff. Um, I've got a couple of these Osprey, these can actually come from a different pack but they're uh, some really nice fitting uh, uh, water bottles, I've got a pair of those. You're really going to have to carry all your kind of food, water for your day hike on you because there really is not a lot of, a lot of places to stop and, and get extra supplies on the route. Uh, there will be at the finishes but uh, not while you're walking so you're going to have to carry pretty much any food you want to take with you. So a bum bag, I find this really useful for keeping some items in the front, particularly the phone, maps or camera, camera batteries, because I find the small packs really hard to kind of get to 
and reach round so you've got to take your pack off to get anything out so um, a small bum bag really useful for cameras um, I'll be taking my trusty little Sony it's a few years old now but this is uh, one of the first true portable camcorders out there that could film in high definition 1080 um, very nice little camera it's got stabilization on it so it's really portable really easy to use and, and that's essentially what this will all be filmed on is this little camcorder spare batteries you're going to need those memory cards micro SD and so um, I've got a little holder really really useful carrying lots of little SD cards and not losing them in your pack and then of course tripod mainly for uh, filming vlogging style but also for putting down and filming in other ways as well very useful really light a uh, little cloth as well just uh, just to keep the camera lenses clean and stuff like that and my glasses of course so the other thing you will need on the route is um, a pilgrim's passport now this can be picked up from the visitor center at the start of the route but it can also be picked up from a couple of places on the route as well but this is your kind of credential this is where you're going to record your route and all of the stamps that you can pick up in the various places churches uh, along the trail and also on Bardsey Island in the finish so uh, you'll need one of these um, for the trip so that summarizes uh, the route and the gear I'll be taking um, I'll leave some details below um, I have planned to make a series of videos on each of the days and uh, uh, hopefully I'll put a, a whole series of those together after this video so I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you.